Geraldine Jerry Fredericks Mock was born on November 22, 1925, in Newark, Ohio. Jerry's interest in flying was sparked at the age of seven after she took a flight aboard a Ford trimotor airplane. After graduating from Newark High School in 1943, Jerry attended The Ohio State University, attending aviation engineering classes as the only woman in the room. Then, at the age of 26, Jerry took her first solo flight after just nine hours with an instructor. During cross-country trips with her husband, Russell, she enjoyed listening to the radio calls of other pilots on their way to their very destinations. Stoking Jerry's desire to see the world, she began planning to complete an adventure 25 years in the making. In 1939, Amelia Earhart's trip to circumnavigate the world ended with her disappearance. Jerry decided to attempt the same mission solo. She obtained government approval to attempt the world record flight, along with clearances from foreign embassies in Washington, D.C. The NAA and the FAI appointed observers and timers to document her takeoffs and landings at each stop of her historic flight. On March 19, 1964, with only 700 flying hours, the newly instrument-rated Jerry Mock began her flight. She flew over 22,000 miles in 29 days, 11 hours, and 59 minutes to become the first woman to fly around the world solo in a single-engine airplane. When the self-described flying housewife landed the spirit of Columbus on April 17th, Governor James Rhodes dubbed her Ambassador of the Airways and proclaimed April 17th Jerry Mock Day. For this achievement, she received a medal from President Lyndon B. Johnson during a ceremony in the Rose Garden. In 2014, Jerry mentored the next generation by helping Shasta Wise plan her successful 2017 global flight. Jerry Mock's earth-rounding Cessna 180, who she nicknamed Charlie, is now on display in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. After an accomplished life, complete with many record-breaking flights, Jerry passed away at her home in Quincy, Florida in 2014. Tonight, we welcome aviation pioneer Geraldine Mock to the National Aviation Hall of Fame.